This is Paul on the Plane, and this is Episode 1 of our Image Forensics series. Today we will walk through Part 1 of our analysis of the LRO, the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. The LRO was launched in 2009 with a reported project price tag of $500 million. It was originally scheduled to be a one-year mission with the potential to extend for a few more years. But we are told the LRO continues to orbit our moon now eight years later as NASA keeps extending its mission to study the moon and the Earth. NASA tells us the LRO experiences 12 Earth rises every day. But since it's focused mainly on the lunar surface, sending us pictures like these, there are only a few shots of the Earth we've been given from the LRO. It's these few Earth pictures we've received that we're going to analyze today using the tools we walked through in our Image Forensics series intro video. So, let's begin. Okay, we will start by downloading some of the Earthrise images from the NASA website here, Visible Earth Reimagined, the Earthrise Reimagined. So you can see this is the uh, LRO pictures. Uh, there's three we're gonna download here. The first one is a JPEG, a compressed JPEG, it looks like, uh, image of the Earth from the camera just coming over the moon there. Uh, the Earth is rising, so I'm just gonna create a folder here on my desktop and download these three images. The second one kind of looks like a full-size JPEG, so it's much larger, it takes a little bit longer to do an analysis on this one, but we're gonna download that one as well. And then the third image we're gonna download is a, is a combination. So there's kind of a left camera and a right camera that the LRO has, and then those were combined. And the third picture there uh, has been reprocessed or some special processing has been done. But I want you to notice, first of all, as we look at these images, We'll do the three images first. As you can see in all of these, there's this hill or mountain in the background here at the edge of the horizon. First thing we're gonna do is adjust the gamma brightness. Immediately you're gonna see the three boxes show up for all of these images. This is indication of copy and paste, uh, not something from JPEG compression at all. This appears that they're just pasting these images and doing a little bit of trickery there. When we bring in the, the large JPEG image and do the same thing, you can still see the mountain or hill there, and we adjust the gamma brightness, and we can see kind of close up there this box around the Earth and some other copy and paste potential, you know, uh, editing manipulations here of the of the photo. So if we pull in the third image here, which is the JPEG that's been compressed and we lighten it up, you can see now that, first of all, that hill is totally removed on the left side, which is interesting. wonder why they would do that. And then secondly, you can see the JPEG compression there, the little colored dots around it. But look at the healing tool, evidence of a healing tool brush used here to start removing, try to remove that box, but then even finish the job, which is very interesting. More on these images later in the series and more on the boxes that are showing up around these images. These will, will make sense later when we go to and talk a little bit about you know, what the box is and why it's there. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to be using Photoscape again to use a uh, adjustment for the backlighting. And, and we can also do this instead of just using the gamma controls, we can just continue to lighten up the background. And what we're looking for here is anybody that's done any photography at any length will know that as you lighten up a picture, lighten up especially the background or any dark areas of it, you should see noise, what's called noise, something that photographers have to worry about all the time. So what we're looking here is for evidence that as we lighten up the photo that the you know the space or the blackness of this photo the background should also lighten up and we should see noise appearing. So what we're doing here is we're using the backlight function of Photoscape to brighten up the image to see if we can get any indications of noise. NASA tells us that the cameras on the LRO have noise reduction technology, which they try to explain away the fact that there's no noise in the photos. However, the argument doesn't hold any water for the simple fact that we should see noise reduction over the moon surface and, and over pictures of the Earth at the same time, but we don't. It lights up just like a normal photo does and doesn't at the same rate that it would, you know, or that space or the, the blackness would. Also want to point out, as we lighten these images up, notice how the shadows also stay completely black. Those also should lighten up as you adjust the levels of the photo. And we'll demonstrate that by pulling in some real raw images, ones that I've personally taken with my own camera or cameras. And you can see what that would look like if the photo is real. This is what we should experience. So I'm going to start by pulling in 
some uh, shot here of the moon that I took with my P900. And as you can see, as I start to brighten this up, look what happens to the blackness around the photo. Uh, you can go in there and adjust the, the backlighting, the gamma brightness again, looking for evidence of the noise. And as you can see, there is a ton of it, which is quite different than what we saw from the LRO images that we received. Here's another way to do it, is to pull in a picture with shadow. So this is just a picture I took when I was at Lake Tahoe. There's a, there's a cool restaurant up at the top of the lifts, one of the lifts, and as you can see the shadows there that are were black in the, in the picture are completely being illuminated by these tools. And this is what we would expect to see in a real photo. Look at the shadows there and how dark they are, and what we're looking for is noise. Let me brighten up the photo. You can also use, like in Photoshop, luminance curves. And you're able to adjust the colors and the luminance to see if we can you know, find any noise or any other potential photo manipulations. And as you can see, this is all reacting how we would anticipate it to react when, it's, when a tool like this is used of a real raw image. Pull the same photo or do the same analysis in Photoscape and where's the noise? Where does the noise appear in the photo? As you can see, these are just images pasted on a black background. Okay, for this next forensic analysis, we're going to drop the three JPEG images from the LRO that we received into JPEG Snoop. And this is going to, again, works with JPEGs only. It's going to analyze and tell us, does this look like this photo's been edited or manipulated? And we can see in all cases here that the program is, is indicating that this is a class one finding and it's been processed by Photoshop, been edited by Photoshop. We'll drop the second one in there. So it takes a little bit longer. It's a little bit larger photo. But again, JPEG Snoop with its database of signatures recognizes that the image has been processed. It's been edited and Photoshop is, signature is found. These are directly off the NASA website. These are supposedly real pictures, but boxes around them, not seeing any noise, and now seeing evidence that they've been photoshopped. Okay, for the final portion of our analysis today on these LRO Earthrise images, we're going to use one of my favorite tools here, and that's the Forensically program. So we're going to start by pulling in, again, one of my moon shots. So we want to use this tool on an image that I know is raw and unedited and a real picture, uh, not something created in a computer program. And as you can see, using the magnifier, what I'm looking for is, again, what looking for noise, looking to see if we could see any indication of noise, which is if you take a real picture, anything that's black, as you brighten it, you're going to see noise. And so we're going to use the noise analysis function here and wait and see if it comes back with any noise. And as you can see, it's completely covered. So obviously, anybody, again, done any photography, knows anything about photography, you're worried about noise as, the, as, you, as you illuminate the, the image and with any illumination, you can see the noise is, is popping up and it's, it's covering the photo. We can try this with another photo. Again, I've got some other pictures here that I've taken personally. One that I would like to use is taken from the Space Needle at night. And as you can see, a ton of black sky here. No stars showing because obviously I'm focused on the city and all the lights. We do our noise analysis. Let's look at what the sky does and any other shadowing parts of the image and let's see what the noise analysis comes back with and as you can see completely full of noise all the shadows all the black sky anything that was dark when you do the noise analysis you're coming up with a lot of noise as you would expect so now if we go in and pull in some of our downloaded LRO images do our noise analysis where is the noise? This is obviously an image pasted onto a black background. 
That's not space. Look at the shadows as well. Don't even lighten up. NASA in their publications, in their commentary, say that there are noise reduction filters on their cameras, which may be an argument that why no noise would show up, but if that were the case, we should not see the noise as much as we do see over the Earth and over the Moon in these images. Just another quick reminder that all of these tools are available free and you can download them and use them today. We'll include the links for all the tools in the video description. We'll also include the links for all of these photos so that you can download them, pull them into these tools, and do the same exact analysis yourself. All right, so let's recap what we've covered so far. We've got boxes around the images of the Earth, attempts to remove the boxes around the Earth. We've got mountains or hills removed from some images, but not others. We've got Photoshop being detected. We've got very strong indication. The images of the Earth and Moon are pasted onto a black background because there's no noise in the black areas and what appears to be fake shadows on the surface of the Moon. And we're starting to see what our $50 million a day is going for. So this is going to do it for part one of our series on the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. Again, the boxes around the images of the Earth will come into play later in the series. You haven't seen the last of those by a long shot. We hope you have enjoyed episode one of our Image Forensic series. On behalf of Archer Sage, this is Paul on the Plane. Thanks for watching.